Hi folks, hope you're okay. This is Jason, I'm in Leversham today and uh, it's Curry Mile, it's very very tough. I've only been here a few minutes and I've seen some frosty looks. Uh, it's Muslim area predominantly, even though you see a few old churches, there's loads of moss being built all around this area, absolutely loads of moss. Uh, it's a very very strong Muslim area. I put up the table and I've had a few frosty looks, not from Muslims but from people who who uh, think that would, would, would be interested, you know. So it's very tough, I feel, uh, I feel the heat here today in terms of it's going to be tough. I'm outside the library, I've got uh, the banner, Jesus Hope here, the cross, another banner here, Jesus Hope. And, uh, got the table and everything so you can see it see it's just blown down so so it's going to be tough today in this area and then I'm going to go from Levershoe over to uh, uh, Longside that's another tough Muslim area it's blowing all over the place so yeah, it's going to be a tough day today. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm just going to share the gospel. I'm going to stay till about it's ten past eleven. I'm going to stay till about one, and then go to Longside and just sing some songs and, and share the word of God. <laughs> really, really tough. This is probably one of the toughest areas I've been for frostiness and welcomeness. <laughs> Uh, really, really, really uh, strong uh, Muslim area around here. Very strong. Um, I don't think there be anybody. There's been anybody out on the streets like I'm doing. There are quite a few Black Pentecostal churches dotted around Curry Mile, but uh, I've not seen them active actually on the streets. So. Yeah, so please pray and uh, yeah, if you want to get involved with me, uh, my name's Jason and uh, I'm a street preacher and I run Royal Blood Ministries. If you go on my website, jasonburnspreacher.com, uh, as you go on that website, jasonburnspreacher.com, you can look at my Twitter, Facebook, etc. But you can uh, go and find, if you scribble down about 80 pages, you'll find Royal Blood Ministries page. You go on there, there's two documents to download, an induction course and uh, a vision statement. The induction course, whether you've been a pastor for 50 years or you're a young Christian, is really helpful just to get us some idea of the kind of ministry that I'm, I'm about. And also, um, if you look at the vision document, so in the vision document is, I believe in unity. I'm a Calvinist, strong Calvinist, uh, but I'll work with Charismatic, I'll work with Zionist, I'll work with any Evangelical or any Christian that hold to the fundamentals of the faith. So if you join me, I don't want you to be arguing, Calvinist and Charismatics arguing with each other or Zionist arguing with each other. You've got to just get on if you're working with me, otherwise there's no point in coming. Um, I believe in healing, but if you believe that you're always healed, every time, 100%, that then we're going to clash because my document says I believe in healing we pray for healing but sometimes people go through difficult times yeah um, my document is about holiness if you don't want to live a holy life there's no point in getting involved my document talks, talks about going to church the need for a local church if you're not in a local church you need to be looking for a church or church can be just three people in a house it doesn't have to be a building but you're going somewhere where you're, where you're accountable and you're, you're growing and you want to fellowship with people. Um, strong on prayer, the vision is about strong on prayer, strong on revival, strong on street preaching, strong on encouraging people's gifts. I'm a street preacher but I don't want to think everybody has to do street preaching. If you want to join me and you've got a different gift, if, you, if you've got a gift for prayer, gift for something else, you know, and you want to join and get involved, you know, you just use the gift that you want to use 
and we complement each other and we build each other up with, with, with your gift and we inspire you with your gift and encourage you to use your gift. Um, you know, I, I just love preaching, I love debating, I, I love talking one-to-one -to, -one to people. Some people like to just pray for people to be healed, some people like to to do other stuff, sing. I, I'd like to see people come and sing. Uh, I'd, I'd encourage people, if, if you've got a gift for singing, come and sing. I, I'd love you to sing, I don't mind you singing if that's your gift. Um, I'm gonna, there's a lot of events coming up in the next six months, various events that I want to organize. Uh, prayer events, uh, mission events, uh, etc. And I'll, I'll let you know if you want to find out about that. So, what I'm saying to you is if you want to get involved, read that document. You don't have to join, you don't have to put a t-shirt on. But if you come out with me, you know my standards. I don't expect any backbiting, I don't expect any gossip, I don't expect any people to lose their temper, I don't expect... Um, I expect people, if they come out with me, uh, to conduct themselves in a, a proper way, in a proper manner, yeah? Um, everything has to be done decently and in order. If you do come out with me, sometimes it can get quite hairy. When I street preach, if I send out text, this often happens when I don't have the camera on, actually. Keep, God keeps me humble. But if sometimes if I don't have the camera on, um, and I send out texts to pray. Sometimes we can have massive crowds, and these crowds can be highly volatile. So if you can't handle that, if you don't want to be involved in that, you're better off not getting involved with me because you're gonna be involved in big crowds sometimes. I'm not boasting, it's just the way it is. And these big crowds sometimes can get quite uh, boisterous. So you need to be willing to be a soldier in the midst of that and work in that and work with me and, and try to uh, be a team player and work with me in a team and that's why it would be better for you to join Royal Blood Ministries because when these big crowds come that's when you need a proper team who, who are on board of the same mind and, and um, you know it can get highly volatile and the more of a team that you've got the better because then you control the situation but everything's out of control at, at the moment because I've got people helping me but n I've got nobody uh, well I've got one or two but I've got nobody who's regularly putting that t-shirt on and working with me so when there's a crowd they know how to manage a crowd and they know how to work with me I've just got people who do the wrong thing but they're helping me which is good but when these big crowds come that's when I need people who are on board and, and know what they're doing with me. So if you want to get involved in a very uh, passionate, visionary, um, God honoring preaching and one-to-one -one evangelism, no, uh, where, where we go to the toughest places, the hardest places, where we serve each other, we love each other, where we work with churches where we try to bring unity amongst God's people. We try to encourage people to be holy. Uh, if you want to be involved in that kind of ministry, then go to my website, jasonbirdspreacher.com, and look at my document. One day, there'll be a website, Royal Blood Ministries, and there'll be a Facebook and uh, Twitter, and then, you know, videos and things will not just be about me, but will be about the team and, and what the team's doing at the moment. It's something that I'm, I'm, I'm instigating and moving forward on, but I need people to be more of a team and then I'm going to build the ministry around that team where the website will be around that team and uh, the Facebook and the Twitter will be around that team. But that's going to take time, but I'm slowly, very, very slowly moving towards that. That's why I keep mentioning Royal Blood Ministries, etc. So. It's, it's all about the Lord and I want to just thank all the street preachers that have helped me. I've had so many street preachers that have helped me, they've been brilliant, they've been like a family to me. And I don't want you to think, oh he's trying to be something that bigger than he is. No, I really appreciate all the street preachers that, that have helped me. But when these big crowds come, it's about safety and it's about conducting oneself in a proper way. And when these big crowds come, and they come, I haven't been uh, asking for a lot of prayer, I haven't been uh, 
because I know when I ask for prayer, these big crowds come. So I've been keeping a low profile. The other day, on Saturday, I asked for prayer. Next thing I know, we had a massive crowd, and I mean massive. And I need people to... I, I, I can't move forward in ministry because these crowds are going to get bigger and bigger until I get a proper proper team that I, where we there's a leader we have principles we wear the t-shirt and we we're one and we're united as one and we're working together as one uh, whereas at the moment I, I love the street preachers that help me they're brilliant but they've all got their individual ministries and they're doing their own ministries and they help me which is fine I've not got a problem with that but I have a ministry called Royal Blood Ministries and I need people to join that I need people to join me in that and so I'm asking you to pray about it to think about it and to think you know what I'm gonna go for it we don't take you away from your local church we encourage you to go to your local church we encourage you to get involved in your local church um, you know and there's going to be proper accountability where I'm going to get pastors on this team and they're going to be people that we're going to be accountable to. So if you don't have the humility to be able to humble yourself before other people, then you're not going to be any use in Royal Blood Ministries because we'll be having three pastors on the executive leadership that I will and others will have to go to and we'll, we'll have to talk to them and give an account for what we've done for the three weeks or three months that we've been doing work and then we go to them so so these are because these have to be done so that the work goes right and is run right and done right so that's where I'm going and that's what I'm doing and I'm out today uh, in Leversham and I'm out in some very very tough areas today very very tough areas and uh, I just value your prayers and I value your support because I, I'm, I'm not just saying it, but I do a lot of stuff like this. And, I, and there's a lot of guys that I know that are doing this. There's some guys like uh, I know that are unsung heroes. They're doing a lot of great work. So, you know, I'm not the only one. But I do a lot of stuff like this in towns, villages, areas that are very often untouched with the gospel or very difficult to reach. And sometimes, many times, I can be on my own and uh, it, it can be very tough. It's going to be a tough day today uh, in this Kerry Mile Muslim area but I've just got to do what the Lord wants me to do. Alright, God bless you, have a lovely day and uh, take care, God bless.